Hello and welcome everyone to the next episode on SAP UI5 and Fury training on Business Application Studio. In the last episode, we talked about how do we set up our initial Git repository and also make our code global so that my counterpart developers can reuse the same. And we can have also a centralized repository where all the developers can develop the code together. In this video, we are going to go deeper and see once you have a project on the GitHub account, how can a fellow developer download that code from Git and include that on either a locally running tool like VS Code or Business Application Studio? So let's start first with uh, getting our project, which we committed to Git last time, into Bass. So what I've done is, is I've created a, another workspace, dev space on Bass. And here I have a couple of projects, but not the one which I've pushed to the GitHub. If you've not seen my last video, please check the description of the current video to find the same. So now what I'm going to do is go to terminal and we'll start getting the project from a GitHub. So imagine you are working as part of a dev team. You've recently joined a fresh project. You're an absolute beginner on SAP Fiori and you have started a project with Business Application Studio. So how would you clone a project to your BAS environment to start developing and contributing to the team. So simply we go back, we say clone, and we get the link here for the code. And this is the link I'm gonna copy. And let me go back and just, we are going to clone that. So I'll say git clone, and I'm gonna paste the URL. This is the URL of my project, which I've got from the GitHub, and press enter. Now you can see it has cloned it. Now, since it's a public URL, it's a public repository, you can clone it. But if it is a private repository, perhaps you would have to authenticate before you really start cloning. Yes. So now once it is cloned, you can see a new project should have got created. And now I can switch to the workspace. So we go to uh, view, find commands, workspace, and I say open my workspace. And then I should see a new entry over here for my newly created project, which will be named as my bass project. So you can see now my bass project here and I click open and then you can see my work, my workspace restarts with that particular project in context. And then I can perhaps start making changes. So we've generated this project from a human template in the last class, but let me just go ahead and first test it. So I'll start the preview here. And you can see this will begin my project on my local machine. Fantastic. So that is how you do a clone. Now, suppose you make a change to some file. Maybe I just wanted to go ahead and make a small change into the title of my V1. And instead of putting V1, I'll say master view. And I want to push back this change to the GitHub. So the moment you save, the changes are now being tracked and what you can do is go to once again in the terminal window and now inside the my bass project and you can just do a git add so that's going to add all the files and now you can say git commit dash m a message and i'll say my changes enter and i see it's inserted into the locally committed repository and finally we do a git push And it's asking now my username and password. So let me pause my screen and provide my credentials. Done. So now I've provided my credentials. So finally you can see it has pushed all the changes to my GitHub account. So let's go back to GitHub and see if the changes are available. So right now it's first commit. And if I refresh, you can see my changes are now visible here. And there are totally two commits by far in the repository. So that is how I have set. Now, very interestingly, you can also use any other development environment. If you are using the, the node-based UI5 uh, runtime, then you can go ahead and use even a local development environment, for example, VS Code. So I can go to VS Code and I can just go ahead and clone this project locally in my computer as well. So I have a couple of projects here. Let me close all of that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create a folder on my computer. That's where I'm going to add a project and then I will replicate that on the VS code. So you can just uh, create a new folder on your computer. So let me just switch to my local computer 
and I will be creating now a uh, now a simple folder on my local computer. So I will go ahead to my computer and I will just have a folder here, a new folder. And in this folder, I'm going to run command prompt and I say git clone, put the address, and then it's cloning the project on my local machine. And you can see the project here, just drag and drop it on VS Code. And now your code is available on VS Code, fantastic. So you have got all the dependencies and you can switch over to this, this directory by copy the path. Just go back again to the terminal. Start a new terminal for my directory. Yes, now I'm in the directory and I can say npm install. That is going to get all my local UI5 tooling to get started. Yes, my project locally. And then we can perhaps go a right click and also launch a preview of the application in few seconds once the installation of all the UI5 tooling is done on my local machine. So let's wait and once it is complete, I will resume the video. So now I've got the tooling, UI5 tooling installed on my local machine in a VS Code environment, which is very similar to BAS, or I would say BAS is similar to VS Code. And now we are going to just write a command UI5 serve. Let's go to the terminal. So, and voila, you can see in a second, my web driver will start. So S-E-R-V-E, sorry, I had a typo. And I will start serving. And now you can see a local host server has been started. You can just do a control and click. And that perhaps is gonna launch this window where I will start my index HTML. And there you go, you can see now I'm able to run the complete project locally on my uh, on my local VS Code to test this. So that's an end-to-end -end tutorial. How do you grab the project from the GitHub and set up your local development environment to test this project developing completely locally on your local machine? I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give a thumbs up, share, subscribe, and like this channel with your friends if you think this information is helpful. And I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.